back to the comments section. I'm Brett Cooper. So we've talked about Dave Portnoy and Barstool a lot, but we have not discussed Dave Portnoy's personal life. And boy, do we have some relationship tea for you today. There really hasn't been a need to discuss Dave Portnoy's personal life. I'm not really interested in his personal life. I think we should have that conversation. But now the entire internet seems to be interested in it. So obviously now I am as well. And I promise, as always, there will be a meaningful reason for why we are discussing some celebrity relationship drama. So just stick with me. Before we dive into it though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode. All right, so the news is Dave Portnoy and his girlfriend of three years, Silvana, have broken up. What? Tears, mayhem, chaos was all over TikTok for five days. It still is, to be honest. They were basically social media royalty at this point. Like, everybody loved them. Silvana introduced Dave to a whole new female audience. Women started to love him when before they could not stand him or Barstool. He made her even funnier. It seemed like a great match. They always posted videos together. Here are some of them if you have not seen them together. <laughs> See what I mean that she introduced Dave to an audience because Dave Portnoy would have never been caught dead making a video where he was shaking his butt on TikTok with a chick to that. No, don't like that. What was that from? It was it like Sophia the First, I think is that where the sound is from. I have no idea. We're Linda and Heather, best friends. I'm telling you, open him up to the girls on TikTok. Here's another one. Yes, and that's exactly what you need to show her. Not to her every single day. If you want to go there, I'll go there with you. Otherwise, shut up. She don't want to do it. She, she don't, don't want to do it because she know you going to scrub the ground with her ass. I'm going to mop the floor with that. I mean, people were obsessed with these TikToks. I think earlier this year was when they did like a big long trip. They went to Italy. They were traveling together. There was so much content that came out of that. Girls loved him even more after that. I mean, seriously, I think that this was a real relationship, but I also could be convinced that it was a PR relationship purely because of how many fans Dave got from this. I mean, like between Silvana and him coming out as a Swifty. You're a Swifty, right? Oh yeah, I had her back in the whole Kanye thing. The girls now love Dave Portnoy. And I mean, in general, it just seemed like a solid relationship. They had just moved in together in Dave's new Miami house, but... That did not last long because over Thanksgiving week, she posted this. So she doesn't say anything and she doesn't write anything on the video, but her caption for it is, imagine you buy these for somebody and then you get broken up with. And it's just like a bunch of lovey-dovey cards. So obviously it is about Dave. That is how the internet found out that they had broken up. And initially, all of the commenters were on her side, which is classic girl code. Nobody's surprised about that. That video got like 4 million views. Everybody was coming to her defense. One person said, you are a queen. This is your Sophia Richie post Scott era. You will shine. You are beautiful and kind. Somebody else said, well, I'm definitely on this side of the divorce. Somebody else said, you are the only reason I gave him a redemption arc. You deserve the world. His loss. You are a literal gem. Again, she made women like Dave Portnoy. Another one, I'm so sorry that you are hurting. He never deserved you, Sylves. And then videos like this quickly started popping up. I don't know anything about Dave Portnoy and Silvana's relationship, but tell me why 100% she was right and like we ride a dawn for Silvana. Dave Portnoy just has that energy where like, I don't even need to know why he broke up with her. They like, turned on him wrong. so fast. He threw away a beautiful, perfect, amazing, stunning, smart woman and, and now he's what? And I just love that all of the girlies of TikTok feel this way and like no matter what happened, no matter what Silvana did, even though we know she didn't do anything, like it's justified. We will take her side no matter what because she's right. This video just annoys me. Just in general, the whole thing, the whole girl code, she is right no matter what. Oh my God, right at dawn, manifesting, whatever. I, I do not care. I do not care. But these videos were popping up all over the place. But then, about a week later, Dave went on the BFF's pod, which is his own podcast, and he opened up about it, and people started to change their minds very quickly. It was just an interesting turn of events. Watch this. We were dating for three years, and I, I guess you get to a point where you think maybe there's a difference in what somebody wants versus what the other person wants. If I don't think I'm the guy that she's looking for is going to be able to provide her what she needs down the road. Like three years at my age, at her age, it's like, what are you doing? I mean, this is like a new side of Dave Portnoy. Again, everything about this relationship, in addition to Taylor Swift and him becoming a Swifty, has made him so tender. And it really is precious. Like I, I also became more of a fan of him because of this content. And he's just being very genuine in this whole thing. I knew eventually, I thought, a breakup was going to happen. So to let 
days continue to go by. It's not fair yeah. to either of you guys. I mean, the whole thing just seems very mature, at least what we can see so far. And the general consensus and the assumption is that, like Bree said, Silvana wants marriage and kids. And at 46 years old and as a divorcee, that's probably not what Dave wants. That's not how he envisions his future. And in fact, he's already said multiple times that that is not a priority for him. Watch this. But you could be okay not having kids too. Yeah. I'm not sitting there being like, damn, I'm fucked if I don't have kids. Yes. Right, right, right. And you could be okay with retiring and not having kids. I'm curious about what the later half of my life looks like when I stop this. Like, yeah, right. How, what do I do with that energy? Can I relax on a beach? Can yeah, I yeah. chill? I like, think I can. People have always said they don't think I can, but I think I can. And it's interesting that he said this on this podcast because for a while— he basically did do that. He sold Barstool. He was essentially retired. He dated Silvana. They traveled around the world. We're hanging out in Italy. He bought a house in Nantucket that was like $50 million, bought a house in Miami, has been laying by the beach. But then he purchased Barstool again and is now working harder than ever. Maybe he can't actually sit by the beach. Maybe he's realized that what is actually fulfilling to him is work and he doesn't have kids. Now he's 46 years old. I have no idea. It's just a lot of this makes sense. Now, immediately after he said all of that on the podcast, people started praising him for cutting her loose, which shocked me because you rarely see people online, especially women, being supportive of a man during a breakup. It's even more rare when he is the one who has done the dumping. Like I said, girl code, that never happens. But look at all these comments. One woman said, I applaud you. It sounds like you made a very mature and respectful decision. I wish the men I've known could achieve this level of maturity. Like there is some time warp happening where women online are saying that Dave Portnoy is mature. I'm not saying I agree when they have not called him mature because I do like Dave Portnoy, but some there's a shift <laughs> that has happened. Another person said, I can appreciate Dave for doing this in the best interest of Syl. My sister's ex let her on for eight years. Def stole her youth. All the best to Dave and Syl. And I truly think that that is one of the most evil things that a man can do. Like stringing along a girl who loves him when he doesn't know whether he wants to marry her or doesn't even know if he wants to get married at all, knowing that that is what she wants and wasting her childbearing years. Again, evil. It is incredibly selfish and incredibly evil. Somebody else said, another woman, another woman said, wow, Dave, this is very mature of you. It's hard, but you are awesome and we love you. Another woman, I love Dave for being true to himself and Silvana. The greatest gift a woman gives a man is her youth. Dave is man enough to know this. All of these are fantastic points. Like seriously, as I was scrolling through all of these, not just on the video that he posted and that his podcast posted, but just from people reacting to it and analyzing it, they were all supportive of him from women which truly shocked me. And I've talked about this in two episodes this year. I think one was just a couple months ago and then one was over the summer. If you're in a relationship and you know that you are not going down the same path, for God's sake, break up and cut each other loose. Because like I said, it is evil to waste people's time. Have respect for yourself and your partner and just move on. I know it sucks. You might love each other, but move on. Truly, sometimes the best thing you can do is just break up. Like you guys need to break up with your crusty old pajamas and get Pajamagram. And after you buy some for yourself, make sure you check out their options for everybody on your Christmas list. My personal favorites are Pajamagram's Naturally Nude Pajamas. And guys, these pajamas are so good that they literally sell out every single year. These Naturally Nude Pajamas are known for ultimate comfort and style they are so soft, silky, and totally luxurious. Pajamagram sent me some last year, and guys, I'm literally still wearing them. I brought all of them to Hungary. I have been wearing them. I know that you will love them as well. And for the ladies out there, when you order Naturally Nude Pajamas today, you will get a free Naturally Nude Nighty, which is a $75 savings on a deluxe two-in-one complete gift. And that is not all. With Pajamagram, you can even add gift packaging. If you ask me, that is one easy holiday gift that is sure to make anyone happy. But like I said, these literally sell out every single year, so hurry before it's too late. But a Pajamagram does com today for naturally nude pajamas. Again, that's pajamagram.com and look for the naturally nude pajamas. Now, Silvana and Dave, they might not have somebody to cuddle up with this year, but at least they will have their pajamagrams to keep them comfortable. Now, later in the podcast, he did tread into some murky waters with people when he provided some additional context. And he said that, yes, the breakup did happen over Thanksgiving. Both of their families were there, which made a lot of people angry, saying that's terrible timing, but also it did make sense. Listen to what he said. You want to talk about timing. People are like, how could you do it? Her parents were over the house. My parents were over that. It was, uh, I, you, you can't couldn't, really plan a breakup. You couldn't. There's never a good time. Yeah, you can't plan that. If you don't, never a good time. Yeah, it's like what? That sounds like an extremely bad time, though, if <laughs> it, both parents are there. Oh, my gosh, it's like uh -huh. awful. Yeah. But, I mean, if you wait till after yeah. Thanksgiving, then guess what? Christmas is right there. So you're like, let's go through Christmas. And then New Year's is right there. And it's right kind of weird and if then, you know it's going to happen. Again, if you know it's going to happen, 
please just do it. Stop wasting each other's time. So again, I think Dave did the right thing. But somebody commented and said, this feels like the parents were bringing up getting married and having kids. And he snapped or something. The girl who posted the video said, good point. That could definitely be possible. And the fact that they've been together a while and all the family was there. Somebody else said, so everybody was there for Turkey Day. They discussed the future. Dave gets mad and everybody gangs up on him. He breaks up with Sylv and now is blah, 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 blah. He's single. He's talking about it. It all makes sense. If the family was there, if they were talking about it, he realized, oh my God, this is getting real. I can't do this. I can't lie to her anymore. Like, I can't have her having these expectations about our future. Gotta cut it loose. It's not abnormal. This is not some crazy thing. I also did a little bit of a Reddit deep dive, and obviously none of this is confirmed, but it's all interesting, and I wanted to share what I found. One person said she apparently drunkenly gave him a marriage and children in the next 10 years ultimatum, and he told her it just wasn't in his cards. And I saw this on multiple different threads, multiple different posts about a 10-year ultimatum. I think I also saw a TikTok where it was referenced. But anyway, going on, uh, she didn't drop it, and he decided to end it as they were, quote, wasting time with each other when their life goals and plans don't align. Somebody else posted on Reddit and said they have noticeably been spending time apart, I'm sure it's been over four days to a week and she finally just broke down and said something. It could be related to being back at Barstool full time. Like I said, he bought back the company, but he's spending a lot less time in Florida despite the six months, one day requirement for living there and like establishing that as his residency. And obviously this makes sense. He seemingly bought Barstool back on a whim this summer when the opportunity came back and he has fully jumped back into the company. He's always filming videos with them. He's doing like the Barstool games right now. He's flying around to New York and to Chicago. And even though they moved in together in Miami this summer, he might not be spending a lot of time there. His priorities have probably shifted back to work now that he owns the company again. And if the 10-year ultimatum thing is true, then she did dodge a bullet for her own life. Because if that is what she wants and he could not commit or decide whether he wanted to do that, good, move on. Obviously, like I said, breakups suck no matter which way the cookie crumbles. But now she actually has more time to find somebody whose goals are aligned with hers. Somebody commented and said, 10 years, LMAO, this was the best thing she could have done. Well, he did to her. If he can't even imagine taking one single step within the next decade, he absolutely doesn't want to be with her. He's probably been waiting for her to break up with him. And some people like this Redditor were putting the blame on him saying he did this to her. He is so awful. He doesn't want to be with her. He did waste her time. Just like this TikToker. Basically, she said, Dave Portnoy, you're too old to say you don't want to settle down, but then date Silvana for three years and lead her on. If you knew you didn't want to settle down, then you shouldn't have let her on for three years. Ask her to move in and buy her a G-Wagon. Like, grow up. After all of that, you better be leaving her the Miami house. And I mean, she does have a point because he is a 46-year-old man and he should know what he wants and his expectations for life. And maybe he did lead her on and maybe he did waste three years of her life. But we also don't know what was said at the beginning of their relationship because there is a good chance that she entered the relationship saying, you know what, that's not in the cards for me. I'll choose you over that. And then later on, it changed her mind and he didn't. We have no idea. But somebody commented and said, I love Sills, but Dave has probably been telling her this the entire time. She just thought that she could change his mind. Yes, especially when Dave Portnoy is so open about not wanting kids and not really being the marriage type. Like this shouldn't have been a surprise for her. So she probably knew what she was getting into. So if one person changed, I'm not trying to like point fingers, but it probably was her. She is younger. Maybe she changed her mind, who knows? Another woman said, my take with all that's going on is that maybe Silvana in the beginning didn't want more. And as time went on and she's grown, she realized maybe she did want that changed her mind. Somebody else said, I had a friend date a guy who was the same as Dave with the whole not wanting marriage or kids thing. She swore up and down that she could change him, but they ended up breaking up after two years because he wouldn't budge. I like Syl, but I wouldn't be surprised if she had the same I can change him mindset. Now, like I said at the beginning, all of this is just internet celebrity drama and gossip, but per usual, we can learn things from these stories because again, the worst thing that you can do is waste your time or waste somebody else's time in a relationship, especially a woman whose biological clock is ticking. And you shouldn't be wasting your time or energy on a person who can't make up their mind about you. It is a disservice to both parties. Somebody has to make a decision and move on. And when somebody tells you who they are and shows you who they are, you should believe them, especially when it comes to dating and marriage. And yes, sometimes people can change. That does happen. But you should not go into a relationship or stay in one based on the assumption that you believe that they will change or that you can change them. Please learn from my parents. Do not do that. There is no reason to waste your precious time on somebody who wants things that are fundamentally different than you or has fundamentally different values than you. Now, if all of this is true, if all of the gossip, if all the Reddit posts are true, then I do think that Dave did the correct and mature thing. Breakups suck, but he has given her the opportunity to find somebody who can give her the life that she has decided that she wants. And that's good for both parties. Thanks for watching this episode of the comment section. I hope you enjoyed it and that you maybe even learned something. If you've not already, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and of course, ring that notification bell so that you never miss an episode.